Oh, welcome back to the, um, another beautiful day on the Finca. Um, we're in southern Spain, Sharon and Andy, restoring our 150 year old Finca, um, looking after our 11 rescue animals and trying to grow some food <laughs> at the same time. Um, beautiful day again today. Um, unfortunately it's set to change over the next couple of days and be sub-zero overnight yes with highs of only 12 degrees c in the day which is absolutely dreadful cold traumatic times <laughs> um but we'll call and it likely sure. not much power either because it's going to be cloudy it's generator time yeah <laughs> yeah but hey ho only for a few days we're supposed to book up again next week um yeah. so we'll get through it we will sure we will um, um what we're on today well, well pressing bit of, matters yeah a bit of change of plan this morning i was hoping to get the pointing done in the hayloft above the railway sleeper um but tabby's had a bit of a nasty abscess on her ear for the last couple of days now and yesterday she was shaking her head a lot and and it looked as if it was going to burst a bit. but this morning it's stopped again and it's so swollen and she's obviously in pain so I'm off to the vets yep they're an endless um, source of vet bills these yeah. 11 <laughs> yeah but you know can't let her be in pain bless her no. so the hayloft will have to be put on hold and uh, I'm off yeah, to the vet middle way. the animals are more important yeah um, I'm gonna try and get that lid made for the water deposit today I'm going to check our flue if you remember I put that catch tank on the bottom of it to catch the condensation um, it's been a week since I put it on now so I'm going to see how that's performing hopefully it'll be and okay we'll get this water tank boxed off sorted out yes done done then we can get back on upstairs yeah. I can get we've been on upstairs I have yeah but then I can get back on upstairs as well yeah so we'll be able to crack on so I hope you can see how swollen that ear is. Um, bless her, she's, yeah, she's struggling. So uh, hopefully when she comes back, she'll be all right. I know, darling, I know. Right, we're ready. See if we can get her in the box. Go on, good girl. Good girl. Nope. Nice. Good girl. That's in. Good girl. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, <laughs> She's in. Right. Off we go. So here we go. See if we can get the cap off. See what's inside it. Well that worked a treat, it's water in it up to about there, after about, um, well it's eight days so yeah that's pretty good, um, I might think about a better way of doing it but um, yeah it's working, that's the main thing, I'm going to have a look up there now and see what it looks like inside, well that works pretty well, I'm pretty happy with that, I might actually put a, a, um, a tube on it with um a drain off on it perhaps I don't know yet in the future but it's working I've looked inside um, it's pretty clean as well so yeah that's good news we, we think we're getting there with this um, it's been a bit of a battle but yeah, it's looking all right right onwards and upwards let's go and have a look at that tank so what I've done I've just clamped them together with them all with the two sheets I've marked the center Jeez. Yeah, we've got enough on both sides there. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole through there for the centre um, for my plasma cutter because I have this thing which your plasma cutter sits in there. That'll go in the hole and we can do a perfect circle. Or so he says, well that's the theory anyway. So I'm going to get me drill, drill the hole and um, get it all set up, ready to go. Right now, so we're all set up, just waiting for the air compressor to fill up, we'll have to run the big one, we have to use a generator for all this sort of um, crazy stuff, just need to put an earth on it, 
how much of the other way it is, and um, we're good to go. So we've got two perfect semicircles. Um, what I need to do now is um, fold up this edge um, so the two, so I can fix them together um, with a, a raised up edge. Um, so that will give it some rigidity as well. Uh, so we've got our bending brake here. All we do, all we do. Oh, it's not quite wide enough. I'm going to have to take the bolts out and use clamps to hold that down. Not a problem. I actually want 20 mil. My overlap was 40, so I want 20 mil bend on each one. Um, so I'll get that set up, have a fiddle about, get some clamps on it, get it in the right place, and show you how we bend it. Right, so it's all set up. I've had to clamp it down with my bolt, it was too narrow. Um, I've got a 20mm sticky out bit on this side, and all we do is just lift that up. It says as it moves, this is why we like bolts better than clamps. <coughs> Tighten them up a bit. <coughs> and there we go. Show you what we've got. If I can undo them now. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. So there it is. Um, might need a bit of a tweak, but. And that, so the other one will go next to that, same, and then I can fix them together. Um, pretty good, pretty happy with that. Just gone a bit too far on that side, but I can, well, I'll probably bend that by, by hand, actually. Right, cool. Right, I'll get the other one bent. So there it is, my lid. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, drill through here and um, put a couple of bolts through to hold it together. And um, that shall sit nicely on top of... Well, it will fit, sit nice on top of the tank. It is the right size. I've checked it. Um, sure, I'll get that done next. Um, yeah. Excellent. Good stuff. Just back from the vet. Um, not what I was expecting. Uh, it's not an abscess. Um, I've had to leave her there. She's got to have an operation this afternoon. 
and we go and collect her about 5.30. Um, I don't know any more than that until we go back later on. Um, poor baby must have been in so much pain, but of course because it was New Year's Day, Saturday, Sunday they don't work. Um, the first opportunity I've had to take her really, so yeah, poor baby, I hope she's going to be okay. We'll keep you posted. So there it is, done. Just putting the last bolt in and we're tightening them up and um, we have a lid for our tank. Um, excellent. <laughs> Right, I'll get them tightened up. I need a spanner. So there's our lid. All I've got to do now is um, drill four holes in it and bolt it to the, the top of the tank. I'll probably drill the holes in it in place to be honest. I'll drop it on and then just drill it and bolt it as I go around. Um, fab. Give it a bit of a dust off as well. And um, yeah, fantastic. So I'm back up at the tank. Um, my big pile of wood's going down slowly as is the pile that we got delivered that on there, on the left and the one on the right is our next winter's pile which is growing um, mostly about halfway through it now which is pretty good and um, supposed to be four more trees but we'll see anyway, on with the tank so it's just mole gripped in place just going to drill four holes through and put four bolts in it and there it is done um, with the view from the other side Happy days, another good job well done. So Tabby Cat's back. Um, I don't know whether you can see her here and I don't really want to disturb her. Um, she had quite a big operation. Apparently the vet said either through scratching or maybe a fight with this stray cat. Um, she'd burst a vein in her ear which then became infected um, and she did also have an abscess. So the abscess has been drained um, she's all stitched up, um, she's feeling a bit sorry for herself. She's had a medicine this morning and the vet's given her an injection for the pain that is a slow release thing that will last for two weeks. Um, we have to go back on Monday just for a checkup, and then the following Monday to get the stitches removed. Um, as soon as she came back last night she was trying to scratch and did actually open it up a little bit so we were worried that we might be going back this morning but we cleaned it up and it looks okay um, the vet did say that it could still weep a little bit over the next couple of days um, but she's comfortable she's still eating she weigh she was weighed by the way she weighs at six kilos now she's got a very small head very small legs and half a tail so it's a big, <laughs> very fat, the, the vet said, for a little cat. Um, but she's happy, and does it matter? And um, we love her, and I'm so pleased she's okay. So, that's Tabby. Um, before we do anything today, um, we need to go and get some straw. And um, we've got to go today because it's the Three Kings holiday um, in a day or two. And we need to go and get some more carrots as well. So we're all hitched up trailers over there if you can see it. We're going we're gonna get some from a different place um today. We're gonna try uh, smaller bales because they're a bit more manageable than that huge thing if you saw the struggle we had getting that out last time. So we'll try a different place, different straw, and um see how we get on with that. Then we're gonna get some carrots from the carrot mountain. So we got the straw, fantastic, and um, we've got another supply of carrots that will last them about two weeks. I've never known anybody eat carrots like Donkey does but thank goodness at the moment we don't have to pay for them. Happy days! Okay so we've lost half a day but not to worry. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is tackle the most difficult thing um, for me anyway. I'm going to put a side in here with a top on it um, that's going to house, it's going to be my me, me drawer unit basically and then I'm going to put a front on right the way across here um, on where the hob is. Now I've got my hob I know what this height here needs to be um, so yeah I'm going to, first of the thing I'm going to cut this side I'm probably going to make a little box or half a box to slot in there um, so with the side, the top 
and then a back on it to stop the drawers going back too far because they're not as deep as the cupboard itself, if that makes sense. So I'll go and cut some boards up and we'll come back to you in a minute when they're done, or in a bit even. Right, so this is my vertical side. This is going to be my top. I'm literally just going to glue them and screw them together there and then I'm going to put a back on it um, so the drawers will stop when they're fully in but first job get these screwed together um, I don't know why I set myself these challenges I'm not the best cabinet maker in the world but I am learning on a daily basis <laughs> got a bit of glue on there and then get it in the desired place right. make sure it's flush More torque required. Perfect. Right, we've got the other two in. I'm putting three in all together, so I'll get the other two in. Right, so it's done. Like that. Um, this is going to be the back. All I'm going to do, using this, two strips down, a strip down each side that'll stop the drawers going right through and it should keep them all level on the front because this is the exact depth of the drawers um, allegedly. So um, I'm going to rip this in half and um, get it fixed onto here. Um, if I cut them both exactly the same length, which they will be, then it's got to be square hasn't it? As he says. You know, that's a change of mind on that. I'm going to put a full, a full back on it. Um, it'll be better in the long run. Right, it's done. Um, we've got to mess about putting runners and stuff in it next, but let's go and see if it fits first. Right, so it's in. It's not fixed in yet, but um, it looks fine. They all have to move. They all come together because they all sit inside each other. But when I put runners on, obviously they won't. Um, but yeah, absolutely perfect that. Very, very happy. And once they're spaced up as well, I'll space them up evenly so this comes nearly up to the top. Needs a bit of sanding on the front. Um, but generally, yeah, I'm very happy with that. It went better than I expected. That needs lifting up a bit. But when it's fixed, it'll all be perfectly square and everything. Um, right, what's next? I'm not sure. I'll think about it. Right, okay, so it's in. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, when I put the bottom runners in, I'll use the bottom one on this side to pin this side down, fix the one to the bottom, and then pin this through through there. Um, then I need to put sliders in for all the drawers, it's not going to be easy, and then put a front cap on here, and then the door can go on this side. Uh, it's getting there slowly. Right, okay, let's get these drawers in. Um, I've put the runners in for the bottom one and fixed this side. That works. Um, what I've done, I've cut myself a 2mm thick packer, which I'm going to sit over the top of the, the drawer like that. And then the next runner, which are all here, um, will then sit on top of that. So the idea is that when I take the packer out, I've got a 2 mil gap um, between the drawer and the runner. All I'm going to do is glue them and then nail them. I've had to get the little nail out because the big nailer won't fit in here. <laughs> um, so and I'm just going to work my way up, do each one, put a bit of glue on it, nail it through, same on the other side, put the next drawer in and then so on until we get to the top. If I've calculated the gaps um, correctly, it should space out quite evenly, um, so here's open on that one. 
Right, well I've got the second one in and um, it seems to work. Um, excellent. This one's um, the next one it'll actually stop the drawer from falling out as well. As long as there's not too much weight in it, but I don't think they'll take too much weight anyway. Right, I'll carry on working my way up and um, get, get them all in. But the theory with leaving the two mil spacer is working perfectly. Happy days. Let's hope we just don't run out of space at the top. Right, so they're all in. Look at that. Wonderful. Drawers that work. All I've got to do, this drawer is actually shorter than um, the others, so I just need to make a stop on the back to stop it going in um, so it's level with the front. Um, so I'll get that done now. Having lost two days this week, one with Tabby and last yesterday was just a write off for me for various reasons. I'm actually now on this pointing above the sleeper at last. Um, so I've been and collected some stones. I'm just cleaning them off now with my wire brush. Got my mix ready and I'm going to crack on. Right, so the stop's all about now. It goes in and it stops. Um, it's a slightly different colour because um, it's bamboo and we can't get one in pine. Um, but as we always say, the wood will darken. And once it's got a, a bit of um, an oil on it, it should be pretty much the same colour. Um, right, next I'm going to trim across the front here and across the front there. Um, I'm just going to use some off-cuts of floorboards. Um, I've cut this one. I just need to cut one for that side and make some stops for it to sit against so I can fix it through. Um, so I'm going to get these cut and um, we'll look at getting them in. Right, so the first piece is made. Um, I've had to notch out to go around that bracket that I put in there and he's just going to sit in there like that and um, i put a piece on the back here already so I can fix it through from there and then I'll do the same on that side so <coughs> I need more hands but I'm going to get this one um, fixed in place now Well, about a third of the way now um it's starting to take shape. Once it dries out, the stones should stand out better. Um, it's time for zoom. We've said it before, but it's quite therapeutic. Quite enjoy it, really. We don't tell Andy that until I'm doing more, and I think I've still got enough to last me till I'm seventy, as, as it is. So, yeah, but it's taken shape. Right, um, so both top bits are in. Um, the clamps on, just to hold it until it dries. Um, we're ready for some doors I think now. I may put a little bit of trim around these reveals. Uh, I'm not sure yet, I'm still thinking about the doors and because the doors will come up to the same level as that so they'll overlap over that a little bit on both sides. Um, so I'll have a think about that. I said that I'm not totally sure about the doors yet um, but I think I'm going to get this hob in as well. Um, yeah, that'll probably be useful because then cause we need to actually sand all this down now when it's done um, to wipe it a bit rough. So we're gonna, we'll probably do it with a, um, a 120 grit or something like that to make it nice and smooth for wiping off before it's um, finished. Um, so yeah, I'll have a think about it as usual, as always. Well, that's it for another video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Um, as I say, we've lost a couple of days this week with. Unforeseen circumstances. Out. Yeah, but we are we are cracking on. Um, Andy's gone. It's coming along fast. Great guns yeah. on the kitchen. Pointing is nearly done. There's only like yeah. that much to do, and that's done. And then we can get on with the whitewashing. Yeah. yeah the kitchen unit's coming along. It's again, it's slow and fiddly, but it's bespoke solid wood. Yep. Made to our specifications. We'll get one of these in B and Q. <laughs> <laughs> or anywhere, or Home Depot, or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have, consider subscribing to the channel, a um, little button below, it doesn't cost anything. And if you click the little bell, YouTube um, will notify you every time we upload a video. Um, we'll be back on Sunday, carrying on with more, more the of the same. See you then.